Yep, so we're here looking at bikes. We're gonna see if Haven can ride, if we can find one that is rideable for her, so. We're gonna look at bikes. At the Walmart. Let's do it. Let's ride a homeboy, I caught some trees. Passenger. Straight up. Okay, I found your bike, Haven. Suspension, your gauges, speed and feel. Exactly what you need. Oh, it's even got training wheels. You know, exactly for you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say this one right here. Well, I mean, the Holland could ride behind her. I think field. this is the perfect bike for you. You even have little heart-shaped pedals down here. Oh, wait, there's princesses too. Can't forget the matching helmet. Try it on. Looks, <laughs> uh... Good. Why not have a mohawk? Pattern? And you have multiple different styles of mohawk. I love that they're all rubber too. Rascals. All right, so we're trying to show Haven gearing. So this one has a little bit different. I think it's a eight speed, one through eight, and like a higher, lower knob there. So trying to show her how to run this. So this one, this uh, Schwinn, which is an awesome looking bike, and it has the rotors on it. Not the typical older style brake pad on the outside. Compared to the $100 Huffy bike here. Um, like with that style. So definitely, if you have the money, get the Schwinn. But if this is all you got, get the Huffy. The Huffy. The Huffy. The Rock Creek All Train. Watch. This is a, an electronic bicycle bell, okay? Got that option. That option. Clown horn. I'm buying this just because it's the most hilarious thing I've ever seen for a bike. And then I put this one and a helmet and other things. And gummy worms. You made a good choice. You bought a way better bike than I thought you would have originally. <laughs> I figured we were just going in there for like a beater bike. But this is... You know, bikes have changed a lot from when, because I think my Diamondback ran about 900, so yeah. this bike is, until a few years ago, you couldn't even get into these bikes with disc brakes for this amount. So that, that's quite a bit different. It always used to be like a whip style brake. So also have the helmet, and I got a, a phone holder, <laughs> the electric bell with all the different cool sounds on it, and... <laughs> Wow, okay. And we got a cup holder. Get that on camera. Oh. Go, go, go. They just did a burnout in the Walmart parking lot. This thing up, Haven. There he goes again. Get this thing up. Get this there we go. And it's a cool color, too. I'm pretty excited to start riding it with all my cool gear with it, too. And again, Havens is the Schwinn Illum Axiom Sport 24, an aluminum alloy, alloy 606, and pretty sick bike. She has added the phone mount, and it has the Micro Shift 26 on it. One through eight speed. So just this side, it's not like your typical 21 speed to where you have the other levers on the other side. Um, traditional style fill valve. Mine has the uh, the other style. I don't even know what it's called. But front tire is removable. Disc brakes front and rear. The quality of finish is actually very durable. I can tell. Nice seat. I like the vented, so it's not building up moisture. So yeah, at some point I need to switch hers out to metal. Uh, there. She has a kickstand. I don't have a kickstand. Speaking of mini bikes mini bikes mountain bike but first we need to talk about something so my mountain bike is a response xe29 and it's a diamondback so it's uh <clears throat> got aluminum wheels and front shocks it does not have a rear shock which is like a middle section shock and i have added the obviously cup holder uh bicycle pump air pump and upgraded my pedals to metal instead of plastic. So, awesome bike. And it is setting on, uh, and it's on a SL7 Diamondback, the, or the rims, 
29 inch. So let's get riding these things and have a little bit of fun on them. They call me dog man. Oh, a little bit of mud back there. Going deep in the mud. I went through the mud on accident. I didn't know there was any back there. Oh, I'm getting sprayed with mud. Hey, so Haven's not here. It's the next day. She told me not to ride her bike, but I need to make sure it brakes good for a heavier person. Like I said, that the brakes work and it shifts right. So let's take it for a spin. So we got this big hill here. Let's go down it and see how it stops. So not half bad. Stops pretty good. All right guys, that is a wrap for this video. Hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully you got to see a little bit of this bike if you're looking towards one. And I will see you in the next video on Rubikid. See you later, bye.